Hey guys, and welcome back to Tormented Souls. When we last left off, we were on our way to the morgue. And I need some coffee for this, I think. Ah, uh, much better. Okay, cool. Let's go. Let's go to the morgue. Now, we do have a candle there. Which is nice. That's not the way we want to go. Please, can we find something? I mean, I feel like... We're pretty late in the game. Ooh. This is... Oh. Really? Really, we had to go turn off the electricity uh, just for that. I mean, come on, game. Have we gone the right way? Uh, yeah, we have. We had to do that. Yeah, we're in the examination room now. I guess we could save it, I suppose. Nah, we're okay. That was kind of annoying <laughs> to just have to do that just for that. It, ugh. Whatever game. All right. I feel there's going to be a lot of that in this game. Kind of seems a little bit of a redundant thing to do. But, okay. It's a very long way to go just to flip one switch and then to have to come all the f bloody way back. Uh, but hey, it, I guess it is what it is. Right, generate a room. Unless now, because we've, like, you know, fiddled with it, it's not going to work again. Nope, it's fine. It's fine. I'm surprised they haven't reseeded some enemies. Very surprised about that. I kind of would have almost guaranteed that would have been coming. Uh, we've gone the wrong way again. I mean, talk about backtracking for reasons of, well, just forcing you to backtrack. I mean, uh, I would say, I sub yeah, oh, hang on. I would say, oh, look at that. Look at that. There's, all right. So. June 6th, I was terrified of what William would do when he finally saw my naked skin. But my fears were unfounded. He accepted me, even with the scars on my back left by my father's whip. Oh, is that why she's whipping herself? Yo, fuck me. So, daddy was a bit of an arsehole. William asked me why he did it, of course. I explained that the pain was to redeem my sins. William will never look at my father in the same way again. Yeah, I'm not surprised. So I guess we are supposed to find these in order, which means we've missed um, A, B, C, D, E. And I guess, I don't know if there's going to be more here afterwards. Anywho, whatever. Whatever. That's fine. Now, what is kind of surprising me again, um, the more I play this, is really is just how good this game looks. And it does look good. It looks absolutely fan-fucking-tastic. Now, what do we have? We're on fine. We've got two shots of morphine. That seems to be quite a lot. I guess we're probably going to find some more in the morgue. Uh, 
Okay. That's the wrong way, isn't it? I always go the wrong way. This is when we get over here and find that... I guess that, actually... That there is to make you think of the generator. I mean, that's a subtle environmental nod. I can get behind that. Oh, is there anything over here? Oh, there is. Fugitive patient. A patient with the initials HBP has disappeared. He was at the hospital recovering from a self-inflicted gunshot on his stomach. On his stomach? Maybe in his stomach? Uh, to avoid jail time. Oof. That's pretty extreme. The event happened just after a fifth body was discovered on his property. At his property? On, I guess on his property works. The police are continuing to search for the fugitive in the immediate area around the hospital. This is the third case where a rape and murder suspect has managed to escape these facilities. Until now, the police have been unable to locate any suspects who escaped on previous occasions. Oof. Right. Oh. Okay. Guess there's nothing else in here apart from that. Right, so yeah, that was... So this is the loop around. It connects with that. Alright, cool. Fair enough. We're opening extra areas. I can, I can appreciate that. Or should I say we're connecting areas. Right, let's have a look in the morgue. This place is going to be nasty, isn't it? There's almost certainly going to be some shit in here. A trash pile. We've got a saw. Alright, I was expecting enemies. The water is still switched off, yeah. Oh, that corpse is twitching. Ooh. This body appears to be operated on multiple times and doesn't even look human anymore. Who is doing this? So, yeah, somebody is creating these. Which is interesting. That looks like it's been moved. Blood is seeping out of the door. And I'm not going to open it. Ye oh, hello. Hey, guys. Can you shut the fuck up for 10 seconds, please? I'm trying to work out what the hell's going on here. The sheet is concealing a pair of human legs. So this guy, whoever he is, has been taking people apart... And creating these monsters. Interesting. Right, now we've unlocked that door. Nothing to read here? Ah. B. Where does that should lead just straight back up? To the meeting room. Which is a tape area. Oh. Yeah, we don't have anything. Okay. Potentially any diaries that we've missed in here? I mean, maybe. Right, okay, so that links back up to the meeting room. I guess for speedrunners that intimately know uh, their way around these games. This would be pretty good. All these little passageways and whatnot. So, let's see. Is it worth saving it before we just open this? Yeah, maybe. I've, my boss sense is tingling. Ah, uh, fuck it. We've, we've got a lot of health, to be fair. I am surprised there isn't, like, a lot of morphine or anything to pick up here. I would have thought there would have been something. We have this ominous music.
Oh. Okay. Experiment room. Oh, you know shit's gonna go down in here. Oh, hello. You know what? Kinda don't wanna get hurt. Let's see if it's gonna come to us. Right, let's open up some more, well, light some of these up. Okay, that's a little bit better. A little bit... Yeah, somebody's been marking off like every single calendar in this game. And there's going to be baddies down there. Right, here we go. Here we go. Come to mummy. Right, let's go. Oh, it's a little fella in a wheelchair again. Really? Oh, he's getting back up. Well, that's uh, paraplegic Wolverine dealt with. Didn't even have to break out the shotgun. Happy with that. Right, let's go over this place with a fine tooth comb. It appears they passed away during a medical procedure. How long has this place been abandoned? Uh, quite a while, I would guess. Is, I guess. is that the guy that was wandering around? With the candles? I guess so. Are you telling me there's nothing in any of these? Really? Nothing at all? Supplies are very lacking in this game. I mean, I guess they give you exactly enough to survive. Which, you know, survival horror makes sense. But... Ooh. The words have worn away. I can't read them. Alright. Collections of books about science. We've got another diary. This music is really obnoxious too. So, 9th of November, 1981. I have located my father's secret laboratories. They were hidden behind a secret passage in the morgue. The experiments w are working. I was able to replicate Maria's condition by injecting her blood into a dying man from the hospital. Uh-oh. I declared him dead on a medical report. No one will note his passing. Uh, he has begun to show the first symptoms. If everything goes as planned, I'll be able to administer the first antidote before long. Antidote? I ventured into the forest searching for something, anything, that could lead me to my little girls. But, as usual, I found nothing. At dawn, I returned to the mansion. Didn't his girls escape? Oh no, it's his uncle, wasn't it, that um, got his kids out of here. Uh, I returned to the mansion and stood paralyzed in front of the door that was once theirs. I cannot find the strength inside of me to open it. I genuinely believe that if I open that door and I do not see them inside sleeping soundly, I'll not be able to keep living. So, June, 1st of June, 1987. Test number 25 showed promising results, but only for a moment. This fucking music is deafening. Um, but only for a moment. After five minutes, the subject dissolved into a pool of blood. Nevertheless, I'm not discouraged. After five years of experimentation, I consider this progress. Yeah, the music is just obnoxious in this area. Oh, we did get some morphine, I suppose. A sheet has been draped over this corpse. Uh, cadaple flowers have been placed on top. Whatever they are. All right. 
so. Uh. Okay. Really? You just had to touch the hand. But how do you know? But how do you know you have to touch the hand? That was a fucking shot in the dark. Alright, I thought we was going to have to play like Connect 4 or something. Okay, fine. How do you know to touch the hand? I mean, there's nothing obvious there. Alright, whatever. Not going to complain. Well, that's fun. So this is a secret little... Ooh. Door is locked with an old rusty lock. Can we melt it with acid? Yes, we can. That's a very poor... It will take days to have an effect. Oh. And we can use the acid again, apparently. Take days to have an effect. Well, can we speed it up somehow? Okay. Somebody died behind these bars a long time ago. God, it was a young child. Ooh. So that is dissolving. Days to take an effect. Well, we don't really have days, do we? Experiment room. 11, 15, 1980. Well, we've got a VHS tape. I'm kind of surprised about that. And we can't read any of that stuff down there. Days to take an effect. Uh, okay. I still kind of want to know how you're meant to know you're supposed to push the hand or whether you're supposed to just fiddle with it for ages. Okay. None of these Goombas getting up? No? So I wonder why he's been cutting... I wonder why he was cutting um, the bodies up. It's interesting, though, that we've seen all of these half-fellows uh, moving about. Uh, and we actually see the evidence of like how these creatures were created. That's quite cool. I'm a fan of that. Alright, let's go watch this tape. Alright, I mean, I was expecting some kind of big boss or something, but I guess not. Have a little look here in the meeting room. There's got to be more diaries or something here. Surely. Alright, well, tape. It was a very old tape player. I actually had a friend that had one of these top loaders. Uh, okay, we could go through it. What the hell is this? We're reliving memories, I guess. This body was undergoing medi a medical procedure. In a place like this. Yeah, it looks like most of his face has been smashed in. Uh, I guess we still have all of our equipment. Foul smell uh, 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 elements from this body. Okay. So can we, like, pick stuff up from here? Oh, it's like twins. Like, are they conjoined twins? 
Interesting. Oh. No, we want to go back in. So we can leave this place when we want. Right. That is so weird. Oh, we can read that now. Uh, peonies, roses, jasmine flowers. I could never remember. Though I still feel the butterflies in my stomach. Her cold skin under my caress. How she loved the poems I would whisper to her. The disappointment I felt when I had to let her go. It wasn't until much later that I was able to scream into the wind. I get the feeling that that's important. Oh. Uh, Beatran's diary. Okay. So this has got to be the father, I guess. The experiments keep failing. All the fetuses are misshapen. I have an idea that will allow us to obtain more test subjects and accelerate the process. But to do it, I will have to do something terrible and innocent lives will be lost. I have faith that God will give us the necessary strength to complete our mission, no matter the cost. Our goal is sacred. Okay, playing the God card. Alright, there has to be something to do in here though, surely. Collection of books. There has to be something. I mean, we can't seem to open up the secret passage. Which is literally right there. Which I was assuming is what we were going to do. Like, how do you know when you've discovered what you need to discover here? Is there a key we need to pick up? It doesn't look like it. I mean, that dude's face is smashed in. Literally. So, whether we have to just fondle the... Because why would we... Right, that's click... Ah, right, that actually clicks in. I think. Yeah, that does actually seem to recess. Kind of hard to tell at the angle though. Like how do you... Yeah, that definitely is recessed now. But then that one looks like it recesses too. There has to be a combination here. There has to be a combination. Surely. There has to be something we do here. Uh, there doesn't appear to be any like clues here or anything. Hmm.
I'm not sure. There must be something we're missing. Because you can't just come here for a diary. Right? There's a load of bones here. It gives you a very obvious camera angle of those bones. Yeah, we definitely haven't had any information on what combination to push. Uh, so what does that say? Ponies room. Yeah, I can never remember. Although I still feel butterflies in my stomach. A cold skin under my caress. Butterflies in the stomach. Is that kind of information on what we need? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, well, I'm going to leave this one here, guys, because we're nearly on, like, you know, 27 minutes. Um, and what I'm going to do in the meantime, I'm going to look up what we're supposed to do here, because I don't have a clue. There doesn't seem to be any information here. Um, I could never remember. Although I still feel butterflies in my so stomach, a cold skin under my caress, like, um... I think I'm reading way too much into this. Definitely think I'm so like stomach, caress, ears. But surely ears would be like there. Uh, I'm not sure. Right. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm going to go look up. I mean, maybe there's nothing we're supposed to do here, but we're kind of shit out of ideas. There has to be something in the morgue. This was the only thing in the morgue, right? Unless I've missed something. So, hmm. Right, till next time, guys. Thanks for watching.